Today I'm going to tell you some of my favorite PC cases that I've actually done builds in. That way I can give you much more real world feedback. Let's get started. <music> Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. So let's talk about PC cases here. Now there are so many on the market that sometimes it becomes a little bit difficult to find the exact one. And believe it or not, it can actually make a tremendous difference to your overall experience, the real world use, and not to mention the performance of your actual components. Now I love trying all different types of cases from really large cases to smaller mini ITX cases. So today I'm gonna go through different cases that I've actually done builds in and use them for a prolonged period of time that way you guys can have some idea maybe it might fit into what you're looking for in order to put in your PC some of them are great for air cooling some can do water cooled PCs really really well and others can do everything without any issues at all so before we get into the other cases the first case that I'll briefly mention is going to be the case labs SMA8 I'm not really going to talk too much about this because it's a case that you can't really get anymore the company went bankrupt but I consider it to be pretty much my permanent long-term case I really never intend on putting it away or selling it. It's such a fantastic case that I've been doing build after build in it, and that's basically going to be my main case. But of course, I have other builds going on to test hardware and do things of that nature, so I get to try out a significant amount of cases. So let's talk about some of these cases that I really like, some thoughts, some pros and cons to them, and whether you should get them. First, let's talk about one of the most popular line of cases, and that's going to be the Lee & Lee Dynamic. Now, they have the regular Dynamic, version, the Excel version, as well as an upcoming mini version. Mine should be here soon and I plan to do a really cool build in it as well. So, you know, remember to subscribe to catch that video. So for now, let's start with the regular size Lee and Lee Dynamic. This case is absolutely legendary. The only real con that I can say about it, a lot of people have done builds in it. Now, this is a fantastic case. It's beautiful. You have the tempered glass on the sides. It's very easy to build in. You have a separate panel in the back for you to do your power supply and things like that. Of course, you could do a really nice water-cooled build in this. It's really what the case is designed for. Um, a lot of companies will make a distribution block for the side and the back. You could look at something from EK Water Blocks. They make those type of distribution plates and it ends up looking really, really awesome as well as really simplifying your loop and just making everything function a lot better. Now, you could also do a pretty decent air-cooled build in this. On the bottom, you have room for fans that you can shoot up at your GPU as well as a lot of space for radiators that's going to be one of the biggest pluses to this case you can fit a significant amount of hardware here you can do all sorts of configurations with radiators on the bottom on the top of course you have that side panel as well so overall it's an absolutely fantastic case a couple of cons if we are to mention them at least for my use um, we're going to talk about the excel version i found that this case was a little bit limiting sometimes with the amount of hardware you could put in it if you plan to do a real overkill sort of water cooled build you can run into certain limitations with tolerances in this particular case that's why I personally like the next case that we're going to talk about the Excel but overall this is a very very good case another con that you could possibly bring up everybody pretty much has done the build in this case it's extremely popular so if you want something unique that's something you might have to look elsewhere for because this is a very very popular case and now we get to the Excel version it keeps a lot of the same aesthetics as the regular size except here it's basically Excel extra large it's going to be a bigger version and for me, this case is the sweet spot. I really, really like this case. I was able to fit in really thick radiators for water cooling, fits a considerable amount of hardware, and that actually makes a tremendously good workstation type PC. You can fit a lot of hard drives in it, you know, 2.5 inch, 3.5 inch. It has a significant amount of room in the back and everything's sort of hot swappable so you can pull out the different hard drive cabbies. So for that, I think the XL version is my personal favorite. If I had to choose between the different Lee and Lee cases, I think it's certainly gives you a lot more options for hardware and more importantly I thought the build quality was significantly better than the original Lee and Lee Dynamic. They don't differ in a huge amount but the Excel version just feels a little bit more solid. Everything feels higher quality. That's one of the things I didn't like about the original version of the Lee and Lee Dynamic. It did feel a little bit flimsy. Of course they had to price it at a certain point so I understand why they did that and the Excel version remember will be more expensive. It comes in at a little bit under $200 so for that you are getting 
better build quality as well as much better hardware compatibility. Now the mini version basically just came out. So hopefully I should be getting one soon. That way I want to do a really nice build in it and I can give you guys the impressions from the looks of it of what I've seen so far. You could definitely fit a decent amount of hardware in it. It's not like a really small case but it still looks pretty cool and it's not a particularly small case but it does have a smaller footprint and it still maintains that real nice unique aesthetic and you can certainly fit in a decent amount of hardware in it as well so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Now another case that I really like especially for water cooling is going to be the main gear vibe. Now this is actually a very affordable case you can find it on Amazon or Micro Center usually they're under 130 bucks sometimes they'll be on sale it has a lot of real nice neat little features that when you're building the system you're going to really appreciate it has the little built-in controller for your RGB and your fans everything is laid out really well and you can separately buy their water cooling distribution block this is their apex unit that has a built-in pump so if you're designing a loop in this this is a very easy way to get a very nice high performance loop without having to worry about a bunch of different separate elements i've used this multiple times it's super easy to drain on the bottom instead of being sort of recessed in the back of the case the design here allows you to put it pretty much right in the front so it gives you a really awesome visual and of course remember if you do the apex unit here you're going to be limited to a 240 millimeter radiator on the top but you can still put another radiator on the front so this case for the size it's not that big of a case you can actually put a tremendous amount of hardware in it the build quality is great of course course the front panel is not mesh so it's going to be a little bit more restricted airflow versus something that has a mesh front panel but especially if you have multiple radiators in a water cooled build here the airflow should definitely be pretty decent enough for most builds now it does have a little integrated slot where you can put a vertical GPU I would only do this if you're water cooling because if you're air cooling it's just going to restrict that airflow when it's up against the glass you can also buy their riser cable which screws right into the chassis so it's actually like a really simple and easy way to just mount a vertical GPU but once again, I would only do this if you're water cooling. That way you don't have to worry about the glass restricting any of the airflow. And for the next case, we're going to talk about this one actually just came out this year and it's right behind me. This is the Be Quiet 802. Now I've been using this as a workstation case and it is absolutely fantastic. You're going to get USB type C on the front right up here. This is going to be the faster generation too. Not that many cases have that yet. Also, now this has a front mesh panel. It also comes with a solid panel in case you want to, you know, restrict that a little bit more but I found with the mesh panel airflow throughout the case is really really good I love the way on top if you have a 360 millimeter AIO I love it how you can pull out the bracket easily install the AIO it makes upgrades so much easier the build quality is great I love the aesthetics I'm using the RTX 3090 EVGA for the Win 3, which is a very, very hot GPU. It just spews so much heat into the case. But this case is really meant to tackle something like this because you have the airflow coming in with the 140 millimeter fans that comes with the case from the front. You have the airflow in the back as well as the radiator on top in order to exhaust all of that hot air. Something else that I really like, I love the way the panels come out, like the tempered glass. You press a little button and it comes right out. In the back, it's the same way. You press the little button and it comes out so much better than having to like individually take out all the little thumb screws especially if you're somebody that's always messing around with the inside of your PC and upgrading it and doing cable management this just makes everything significantly better now it is aesthetically very pleasing there's not RGB all around or anything like that it's very minimalistic but I think the design is really beautiful especially in this white color usually I've had a lot of black cases but recently I've really been enjoying sort of this type of look the most important thing I'm very impressed with not only the build quality but also the performance of the case especially when you have very hot components running into it the only con that i could really think of it's certainly a very big case it's not small by any means but that's sort of what it's supposed to be you could do a really nice water cooled system in here or just fill a tremendous amount of hardware it works as a gaming pc or as a workstation and then lastly some other cases you should also look at if you're doing a mini itx build you do have a few options on the market probably the most popular is that NR200P from Cooler Master. I actually recently just got one. I'm in the process of doing a build in that now. Um, recently, I did also build in the Silverstone SG14 Mini ITX case. Now, this case is around 19 liters, so it's not going to be the smallest case, but I was actually shocked at the amount of hardware that I was able to fit in here. I even put in a Founders Edition 3090 as well as a dual tower Noctua cooler on the CPU. So I was very impressed that even though it's a large case, you can fit a lot of 
hardware in here and airflow it's actually pretty decent because you have the gpu exposed on that perforated panel and then you have a lot of space for airflow in the back where you can put fans you can fit a 240 millimeter aio as well if you want it instead of an air cooler you even have an exhaust area for a fan on top so overall even building a powerful system on such a small case like this i really really liked it right now i'm in the process like i said of the nr200 i'm going to be comparing these two cases in a future video as well so remember to stay tuned for that and of course other case options that are great to build in you can look at fractal design i've done builds in their various define as well as their meshify cases sometimes i'll tend to kind of like the meshify cases a little bit more just because they have a lot more airflow because of that front mesh but the define series does look a little bit more sort of like professional and industrial so i do like that look especially of the front panel it's just going to be a little more restrictive but generally the top is the same you can put like a little mesh panel there and take out the solid panel so basically Basically, your biggest decision here is if you want that solid front panel or you want some type of like a mesh design. I did a build also in the extra large version. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed some of these case suggestions. Of course, there are many other great cases on the market. Can't go through all of them. These are just cases that I've personally worked with and that I think work really, really well. They have great aesthetics, build quality. They're priced pretty nicely. So let me know what your case suggestions are in the comments. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.